In terms of security, a door's sole purpose is to delay an intruder, a delay that gives you time to respond. The better prepared the door, the more time for the response. And as you'll come to learn, almost all residential doors fail miserably at this task. But take heart, because the purpose of this video is to show you how a few simple steps can take nearly any ordinary exterior grade solid door and transform it into a formidable barrier that buys you time, time to respond. No barrier is impenetrable. A determined enough foe can defeat any obstacle. And this is a three quarter inch piece of pine or the material used in almost all door jams. This hole represents the approximate location of the hole that accepts a thrown deadbolt. In almost all instances, this bit of material here is all that's truly in the way of an intruder kicking down your door. I'd bet that nearly all residential doors can be defeated with one kick. It doesn't buy you much time, does it? One kick will blow out this little piece of wood or shatter the door jam. Almost all residential doors operate under the false pretense of security, when in reality, they're about cheap manufacture, ease of installation, and thermal efficiency. In addition to flimsy wood jams, most of the hardware that holds and locks your door uses these tiny three quarter inch screws. These screws are just enough to keep the door from falling off the frame, let alone stopping unintended forces from kicking it down. If you truly look at and understand the way a door is installed, it's more like a house guest than part of your home. We need to take that door and make it more like part of the wall. Part of the wall that opens when you want it to. Behind your flimsy door jam are two 2x4s on either side. These studs are integral to the structure of your home and can withstand much greater force. The very first step you need to take to make the door part of the wall is to tie it into the rest of the wall. Luckily, there's a product out there designed to do just that and a little bit more, and is my first pick in hardening nearly any residential door. Door Armor is a kit that is specifically designed to utilize the structure of your home and strengthen your door to make it a true delay barrier. It consists of five pieces of steel that strengthen and reinforce key areas that are prone to failure. It can be used on any new door and will retrofit most existing doors. It comes in a variety of finishes and aesthetically unobtrusive when the door is closed. The first component of the door armor is jam armor. Check it out in the links below. This addresses the splitting of the jam by tying the strike plate into the 2x4s behind it. It replaces your regular strike plates with a 48 inch piece of metal, with that metal being tied to the 2x4s with 7 4 inch screws. It also vertically distributes the load from just a few inches to almost 4 feet. This takes the weakest point of your door and essentially makes it kick resistant. Instead of having to crack a small piece of wood, the intruder now has to shear seven screws, break the door armor itself, or cause the wall to fail. All unlikely events. Once the jam shield is installed, the force of the kicks are going to go to other parts of the system. The second weakest point in the door itself is where the latch protrudes. For this, door armor provides two door shields. These install over existing latch plates using two and a half inch screws that are vertically spread. Even if the leading edge of the door is split, the steel door shield will hold the latch in place, keeping it secure. There are other systems out there that offer jam and door protection, but as far as I'm aware, door armor is the only one that protects the hinge side of the door as well. Door armor has a patented hinge shield that continues the same theory to the other side of the door. The hinge shield uses two of the existing attachment points of the hinge and then two additional points spread away from the hinge, all attaching with four inch screws. Same concept strengthen the attachment points, and spread the load. The kit has two hinge shields, which should be attached to the bottom two hinges. Once the system is in place, your door is greatly strengthened. I don't have any interest in trying to destroy my brand new door, so I'll defer you to the links below for videos of people trying to take out a door fortified with door armor. Now, door armor isn't for every door. Suffice it to say that not all doors are created equal. The door armor is meant to be installed on an inch and three quarters thick solid wood, metal, or fiberglass exterior door, preferably one without a window for obvious reasons. As you can see in the link to the video, in this system, the door itself becomes the weak point. For most people with a screw gun and any mechanical ability, the door armor can be installed in minutes without removing the door from the jam. All new installations should work, but you're going to want to verify a few things. First, the jam armor, door shield, and hinge armor sits on top of the jam, so you'll need about an eighth of an inch of clearance on the lock side and a sixteenth of an inch of clearance on the hinge side. If you can fit two quarters stacked together easily between your existing door and jam and one on the hinge side, you shouldn't have any issues. If you can't, your installation will require some extra skills such as planing the door. 
My only other complaint with door armor has to do with the screws. The screws supplied with my kit were Phillips head only. The instructions tell you to use a 964 inch drill bit to pre-drill the holes, which aids in driving the screws and prevents the wood from splitting. The problem is 964 inch drill bits are not long enough to sink a four inch screw. Driving a big screw with a Phillips head doesn't work very well when it isn't completely pre-drilled. I feel they should supply square heads or something less prone to slippage. And maybe it's because my carpentry skills are limited to turning wine into water. But this little change would make things far easier. That or supplying a 964 inch longer drill bit. I end up stripping a number of screws and replace them with some number 10 Spax 4 inch drive screws also in the links below. In the end, this is a minor complaint and the end result is a door that is exponentially stronger than when it started. A door that should it be attacked will now buy you time to respond. Check out the door armor in the links below. Now there's one other component in the system that we didn't talk about, and that is the deadbolt itself. Once the door is tied to the frame, the deadbolt becomes the weakest link. And that, my friends, is the subject of the next security video. If you found this information insightful, drop us a comment, hit the like button below, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the Tin Hat Ranch channel. Thanks for watching.